Putin is a little man who is terrified of losing power. Author of the Magnitsky Act. American-born businessman Bill Browder, author of the Magnitsky Act that has been sanctioning Russian officials in 2016, has also authored two best-selling books, Red Notice and Freezing Order. According to the Kiev Post, media outlet, pulling no punches, Browder, explains the psychopathy and depravity that make up the character of Russian dictator Vladimir Putin. What motivates the Russian autocrat? Browder argues that Putin is a little man who has stolen too much money, who is terrified of losing power. If he loses power, he will go to jail, lose his money and die. So you've this little money who is scared of losing his life. So what does Putin do? He creates a foreign enemy. That is what the Ukrainian invasion is all about. Browder warns that despite heroic efforts, Ukraine can still lose the war if the West backs away from its commitments to the besieged nation. What would come next? Browder argues that Putin cannot back down or not begin an invasion of Europe. Putin's ability to survive, having stolen hundreds of billions from his own people, depends on him being able to portray himself as a war president keeping his nation safe. Browder's gripping interview lays bare how sick the Putin regime really is while highlighting the clear and present threat it poses to the collective West. Speaking to the Kiev Post, Browder discussed his long history with Putin, his view of the war in Ukraine and what he feels it will take to see a new public uprising in Russia. My first encounter with Putin and his criminality was all around the Magnitsky story. I had a lawyer named Sergei Magnitsky. Sergei discovered a massive Russian government corruption scheme that involved stealing $230 million of taxes that I paid from the Russian government, Browder said. Sergei and I exposed the fraud. Sergei was in Russia. I was abroad. I was living in London. And then they arrested, tortured and killed Sergei. Browder was surprised that Putin didn't care about the money being stolen, that instead he cared about Sergei exposing the people who stole it. Putin was sort of participating in the cover-up of the murder, Browder said. That's when it became obvious to me that Putin was a criminal. His level of depravity has increased over time. He's always been a sort of psychopathic, depraved individual, but also been sort of a little man who lacked confidence, Browder said. Browder noted that ultimately he views Putin as a financial criminal. He and the people around him stole a trillion dollars from the Russian state. I say that as somebody who's researched that with great effort over a long period of time. That money should have been spent on hospitals, schools, roads and other public services. Instead, it was spent on yachts, private jets, villas and all sorts of stuff like that. Russian army trying to capture Ukrainian Chasivyar city suffers heavy losses but attacks continue. Ukrainian military observer Denis Popovich spoke about the developing situation around Chasivyar, Donetsk Oblast and Russia's plans to capture the town in an interview with NV. They now want to enter Chasivyar from the south, from the village of Ivanivsky, west of Bakhmut, he said. They haven't yet finished the battle for Ivanivsky, but are already building up their strength to try to enter Chasivyar from the south. Now they're engaged in redeploying troops. Popovich also explained why the Russians stepped up their attacks in this area. I suspect that due to the fact that someone promised someone to capture Chasivyar by May the 9th, they set this deadline and they're now in a hurry to at least enter this town to report something, the expert said. This will mean big losses for them but unfortunately, it will also mean losses for us. Therefore, we can state the battle for Chasivyar is beginning. Chasivyar is currently one of Russia's main targets on the front line and a key point that the Ukrainian forces are trying to hold. Apart from Ukrainian soldiers, even their commanders are manning forward positions to hold off the enemy, the Wall Street Journal recently reported. About 20,000 to 25,000 Russian troops are now assaulting the town. Russian forces appear to be conducting heavy glide bomb strikes against Ukrainian positions to enable further advances towards Chasivyar, similar to the way that Russia seized Avdiivka. In February 2024, the Institute for the Study of War reported on April the 9th. The Russian military uses both attack helicopters and CAS warplanes to strike Ukrainian troops. If the Russian occupiers manage to capture Chasivyar, they'll have the opportunity to launch an offensive on Kostyantinivka, Druskivka, Kramatorsk and Slovyansk, a senior Ukrainian official told Politico on April the 16th. 